damping why damping we are to study because we are going to study the pre damp vibrations for single degree of freedom various damping or vibration videos are available on my youtube channel i have made the playlist separate for undamp and damp and force and the two dimensional multi dimensional videos uh, degrees of freedom videos are there please watch the videos and what we are going to study in this one the various dampers or damping systems are there what are this type of damp vibrations See, these are the applications for this damping vibration so what is the purpose of after the watching this video students or learner will be able to understand the damp free single degree of freedom for the single degree of freedom or the damp vibration the types of damp free sdof vibrations single degree of freedom vibrations we can learn the viscous damping what is viscous damping coulomb damping the solid structural damping and slip or interfacial damping and first we'll learn what is the undamp and damp difference between the undamp and damp you must learn in mechanical vibration is repetitive or periodic response of our mechanical systems or vibratory systems very any system for the mechanical or uh, machinery will be there or that in that case the repetitive periodic response that will create a vibration and here various types of vibration out of this the pre undamp or damp vibration we have to compare how to compare from this response response curves are there for v free vibration undamp vibration the response curve c here continuously it is going on the same direction on both the direction it is amplitude with the same amplitude okay but here in damp vibration this amplitude c is goes on decreasing slowly slowly it is goes on decreasing that is the difference friend here this avoid is goes on decreasing because here resistance to this motion is there causing the dampers or damping force will be there which may be internal or which may be external resistance will be there so friend that is the way we have to study the various types of damping vibration in this undamped vibration what will happen there is a no loss of energy or dissipated in the due to this friction or by any resisting element during the oscillation see this is the oscillatory, oscillatory motion is there and here is the no resistance is there the system with the no dampers or internal resistance will be there or external resistance so that's why this vibration is known as undamped vibration you can see these two examples for the spring mass system and this is a simple pendulum so what will happen it will give this curve like this continuously that will be the same it will not goes on decreasing so here is the details and for this in detail undamped vibrations various videos are there 40 videos with the numericals was that in playlist okay so friends here is the undamped vibration response curve in damp vibration the vibratory system has a damper the motion of the system will be dissipated that means the it will go to decrease the and why it is they may there may be friction or there may be various uh, resistance to this motion and for this uh, type of the vibration it is called the damp vibration here is the c this is the arrangement spring mass system along with here is the damper damper is there it is represented by the symbol this shown to you and uh, this is the cursor i am moving on it and after this what will do See the FBD diagram for this mass. Why it is required FBD diagram to solve the or get the equation of motion? We require this FBD. Okay, so in detail videos are there to watch it. That videos. This is the dampers or this is the system for the quarter car. Already we have studied in mathematical representation of the quarter car. So what will happen? It will goes or decreasing due to this damper damping arrangement. Friend, so this is the arrangement for the damp vibrations and you can, uh, this is the arrangement for the any college they have the universal vibration apparatus so here various experiment we can conduct and this experiment which will show here the torsional vibration or the force vibration free vibration single degree two degree two rotor system or various uh, near about six to eight experiment we can conduct on this experimental setup so you can watch the videos for the experimental 
Oh no, Bhadrasham, I have the separate play- playlist, please watch it. This is one of the example on damp vibration. What is this damp vibration? This is a door closer example. And how the responsibility slowly drill goes? Decreasing. So what will happen here? See, this is the door is closing here slowly. That means the response is slowly decreasing. So that is the application of the damp vibration. There are a number of applications like this in absorber, shock absorber, or door closer, or number of examples are there. So we'll see later on. Any physical system or vibratory system have damping. If an external or resistance or internal resistance is provided for this uh, physical system or vibratory system so as to reduce the vibrations, then that vibration known as damping vibrations. And there is a always internal and external resistance. What due to this which energy will possess by the vibratory body, and that every body that is having some energy that will be reduced in this vibration. And why it is reduced? This resistance due to this that is a damping. Nothing but the concept is damping. Due to this damping, a damping influence within or upon an oscillatory system that has the effect of reducing restricting, preventing its oscillations, thereby reducing the amplitude. This amplitude goes on decreasing like these waves we are studying. And what will happen in this physical system, damping is produced by process that dissipates the energy stored in the oscillation. And that device, that device to register uh, the vibration is called the damper. There are different types of damper, like this same damper is the shock absorber. You are observing this uh, two-wheeler, the shock absorber with the spring system is there on both the side of this wheel, it is attached, like this it will work, okay. So damper is having the here, construction, for the in detail video, watch the linear or the viscous damping video. And here different types of damping I am going to show you, the viscous damping, coulomb or dry friction damping, the solid or structural damping and slip or interfacial damping. These four major types of the dampings are there. And we have the separate videos on this viscous damping, coulomb damping. Okay, so these are the two major things are there where we are using in industry and for the various applications. Here, these are the diagrams for this viscous damping, coulomb damping, and solid structural damping. Okay, so what in detail we see later on in this video. Please be with me for the last aid of the video. The viscous damping, this is the most commonly used damping mechanism to reduce the amplitude of vibration. Okay. So what are the dampers? These are the dampers shown to you. That is a for the industry or the for any vehicle they are using this damper. This is the construction how car suspension work. The various and what will happen this damping uh, Discuss damping or whatever is the study, linear damping, that will create the equation of motion. Whatever the type of your damping, that may be eddy current or dashboard, the, it will follow this equation, mx double dot plus cx plus kx is equal to zero. If there is a spring mass system, then the equation becomes this one. Okay. And this is the ABD diagram for this system. So next is the Coulomb damping. Next type of the damping is what? Coulomb damping. When it will occur, it will occur when the two machine parts rub against each other in a dry or unlubricated condition. Okay. Damping resistance is a constant and independent of the damping velocity. Here is the damping velocity. You see, this block is moving on this surface. Blue portion is moving on the surface. It will form this X and Vx and the Ax means the acceleration velocity and the displacement and the force will be there which is opposed to the this motion. Okay, see here the damping force here F is when it is moved in, in this right side the F is opposing to the this damping mass which is moving on the surface damping force is opposite to the displacement and this is the K is the that here spring constant mu with the coefficient of friction. Okay. So that is important in this case. How it will happen? It's based on this Coulomb's law of dry friction and what the, it states, when two smooth surfaces, bodies are in contact, 
force required to produce is proportional to the normal force on the plane of the contact. It's a force which is generated here. Suppose this is the weight of this uh, body with the mass m kg. Okay, so opposing force will be here from the downward to this one, or here downward force will be uh, opposing force is there, and that force friction force. Okay, that is equal to mu into R n. Or R we can say Newton's mu is the coefficient of friction and R n or R is nothing but the normal reaction force between two melting surfaces. The damping force is the uh, friction force and is constant and act opposite. See in this figure also you can see this F spring. Okay, this damping force in the due to this uh, it is opposite to the direction of motion. And therefore, the Coulomb dry friction damping is also known as the constant damping. Okay, for your information, I am told you this is the third type of the material or solid or structural or hysteresis damping. Okay, this is the one of these simple uh, bars there. Okay, with mass attached to this uh, at the one end, and then having area A, this uh, elasticity length, and represented by this symbol. Okay. So in this material or solid structural uh, damping, what has happened? It is a permanent property or characteristics of the material, and resistance is offered by the elastic properties from within the body. Body which is having property, permanent property, which will resist. That is the internal damping. You can say internal damping, and this intermolecular friction will be there in the structure, which opposes movements. Hence, what will happen? It is due to the internal friction of the molecules. Hence, it is a due to the internal friction of the molecules. And the stress strain diagram, when we draw the stress strain diagram, uh, it forms the hysteresis loop. How this will goes on increasing when loading and when unloading, it will goes on decreasing, and this will form a hysteresis loop. See, my cursor is there. Red cursor is moving on this hysteresis loop. And this is the stress versus strain. That means the force versus displacement diagram. And when we draw this, well, when the load is applied, what will happen? This area which will uh, under this curve, and that will the size of this loop depends upon the this uh, the stress strain diagram of the hysteresis loop, and the area of which represent the energy dissipated, energy dissipated due to what molecular friction per second per unit volume per unit volume. Okay. And the size of loop depends on what? The size of loop is depends on what? The material, what type of material you are using, the frequency, and the amount of dynamic stress. What the amount of dynamic stress we are applying? It will depend. The stress strain diagram of the vibrating body is not a straight line, but it forms hysteresis. So that's why it is also called hysteresis damping. And it has been found. It is not a function of frequency. And it is approximately proportional to the square of the amplitude of the vibration, and it is a proportional to the stiffness of the system also. And energy dissipated and the energy loss per cycle we can calculate by using this formula: E is equal to pi k lambda a square. Okay, friends, this is the diagram, this hysteresis loop diagram for this type of the dampers. This metallic dampers are they utilized for the the hysteric behavior or uh, due to the hysteric behavior of the metals in the inelastic range. Okay, these can be fabricated from the steel, lead, or spherical shape memory alloys. Okay, this is the one of the application used in the structure or in this building. They are used the dampers. Okay. These yielding dampers are there, hysteric metallic or uh, this elastoplastic uh, various applications you can observe. Here, the energy absorbed by the metallic components that yield and large initial stiffness, high bearing capacity, low cost, and good ductility will be there. And this is the one of the example of the friction damper. I'm going to study this is the friction damper. These are the two different types of the damping systems. Last is the third one is the slip or interpretation of non-linear damping. Under these the applications, uh, the Damping is generated by the interfaces of two sliding surfaces. These two sliding surfaces are fixed and they are having the pressure on these two. And that means that in case of these uh, various types of the joint, the sliding bolted joint bearings, gear screws, or guideways, they are the 
there will be the this type of the slip or interfacial damping may be occur when the microscopic slip uh, slip is occurs on the interfaces of the machine element which causes the dissipation of the this vibrational energy when the interfaces of machine parts are in contact under the fluctuating loads and it is a uh, uh, occur uh, in the slip interpretation uh, and this as this curve which will uh, this type of damping is non linear so it is also called non linear type damping the interpretation damping occurs uh, accounts for the 90% of total damping needs okay between these two type of the joints or the sliding joints are the biggest contributor of the damping i will see in detail these two plates are uh, pressurized in the suppose c clamp and it is mo- movement is given in a vertical direction or these plates are pressurized uh, pressurely fitted and the motion, uh, movement is given on this side okay or uh, various conditions are shown to you what will happen in this slip damping the amount is based on the surface roughness how the surface roughness is there uh, which is in contact these two plates in contact and the slip interface the contact parts uh, and the amplitude of vibration and that will uh, depend the slip damping so how the slip damping is the amount is based on the roughness contact pressure and the amplitude of vibration See, this energy dissipated per cycle depends on the coefficient of friction here the coefficient of friction is how is the uh, the coefficient of friction between these two plates that will really depend what is the difference in the that uh, die friction and here here is the pressure is pressure is there in the, the die friction and coulomb damping there is no pressure the two plates are in contact but with the pressure is applied at the contacting parts and the what will happen they will create the amplitude when the amplitude is there the small amplitude or large amplitude there is the optimum value of pressure for which the energy dissipated is maximum you can observe here there is the maximum amplitude and there is the small amplitude and the for what type of energy dissipated or this damping is required that up to this we can design in between these two curves okay this contact pressure uh, how the contact pressure is there suppose contact pressure increasing the energy dissipated increasing but there is a optimum value of pressure and where the energy is dissipated so that according to this we have to design for using the if you want to use for the slip interface damping the value is different for the different amplitudes larger the energy dissipation larger is the amplitude damping is a system so friends you have watched my video what are the three top outcomes you are collected from this video please write down and you always learn by self assessment only thank you for watching my video please watch and subscribe my video and maximum share video for the maximum knowledge learn what are the outcomes of this video of mathematical modeling for this all the vibrating system write down three outcomes and friend here you always learn by self assessment only and you have to subscribe my channel kadam academy if you are not subscribed please subscribe it thank you very much